We are in Fast Drop, Texas. It is a little town that is just southeast of Austin, Texas. So we're literally in the heart of Texas. Basically was just a very small town at one point in time. Um, now we have definitely have grown. Fast Drop's a pretty neat rodeo. It's their, actually, it's their homecoming. This a rodeo event's been going on for over 70 years. One of the longest running local community rodeos in the state of Texas. It has a huge following here uh, for another reason, that it truly is their homecoming. So you'll have a lot of family reunions, people that have sort of left the nest and gone on and generations of generations come together here in the community. This town loves, loves horses. They love rodeos. They, they just love the feel and the excitement of it. The people in this town, it's the place to come to. It's gonna be a great rodeo tonight. For Wesley McManus, the history of this rodeo is personal. This is the 70th year uh, this event's been going on. This is our first year here as producing this event. Uh, I actually fought bulls here off and on for, for 10 or 12 years back when I was fighting bulls, so it's really cool to be here now producing the event. When we sat down and we put the list of rodeos together for the tour, uh, we wanted to have one of the best events, so we've been picking all the best events. This is one of the last largest rodeos of the uh, 2017 season. So we picked this one because it's like tonight, there'll be a sellout crowd, there'll be a great concert afterwards, and it's just a really great committee to work with. We've got a, a good lineup, uh, a lot of good contestants out tonight, so in, in every event, so it should be action packed the whole night. Ladies, welcome to Bastard Off Texas. Tour stop number eight. This is also the Titan Buckle Challenge. So we reached out to Titan Field Tanks, and they agreed to come in and be our buckle sponsors. So we got with Titan, and we got with a cut above buckles, and they made us two beautiful buckles, one for the open bronc riding and one for the uh, ladies bronc riding. So this is only our second buckle challenge for the tour. So the significance of it is pretty big, because this is only going to be the last, well, this will be the last buckle until finals. So the girls that won't have a shot at finals because they're so far behind on money, this is their chance to step in and win a buckle and have some, some really nice hardware. Limited edition too, because once a cut above makes these buckles, they will never copy that buckle again. So that being said, Diamond Cross brought their A-pin tonight. They've been on hay and water and everything for two weeks, so they're ready to go. Ought to be an interesting bronc riding. Let's go ahead and start drawing tonight. Let's find out what y'all have. Who's ready? First up is Joy. Joy, you won last weekend. What do you got? H88. Brittany, you came in second last week. I hate this part. Just oh, grab a chip. I dropped the one I wanted, 25. Breathe, it's OK. Jane came in third last week. C89. New Girl came in fourth. T71. T71. And Rainy. Came in fifth. F. <laughs> Duke, you're next. D7. Oh, do I got to get down for you? Sorry, is that better? <laughs> All right. I'm saving my energy. 51. And last but not least, Morgan. 5B. All right, ladies, you know what your draw is? I, uh, you know where you need to be to put your saddles? All I can say is good luck. It made the best lady win the buckle tonight. Let's put it in. Oh, man. Oh. I'm getting up. You gotta get up. One, two, three. Don't, Don't eat dirt. dirt. excited about tonight. I mean, they're giving out a buckle and money. You know, I just want to make a ride, most of all. I think it's definitely going to be a little tougher tonight, but um, I'm just doing it for the fun. I don't get super stressed out about anything, so just kind of doing it just to have a good time and hopefully make eight seconds. But if not, you know, there's another, another rodeo. I really want to get out there and, and keep my rain up. That's all I need to do. I, I do pretty Pretty good job of staying centered or just when I put my hand down, I can go over. So that's what I've really been working on, trying to get it to where I'm focused and I know what I need to do. And I think it helped me sitting out on Thursday to like rest up and kind of not, you know, make myself even more sick. And so I just kind of rested and kind of hung out and I feel good. I'm really excited to ride. I'm feeling good. It'll be interesting. This is a horse that uh, Brittany wanted on in Dripping Springs. She either made him look easier, he's a little bit weak, and it could have been it could have been either way because Brittany rides really good. So there's a possibility that the horse really does buck and I'll get my head freaking chunked in the sand because I'm thinking he's probably not as powerful as he should be, but we'll see. 
she won it, so. I, I'm not messing around. I don't half-ass anything. <laughs> you know, if I come here, I'm, I'm coming here to, because I mean business, you know? But we'll see how it goes. I just, the only thing I can do is, is ride to the best of my ability and ride what I draw, and that's, that's all you can do. So everything else is up to chance. I feel pretty confident about tonight. I feel like I'm going to do good, and I'm excited to get back on and look forward to it. I'd like to take that belt buckle tonight. You know, back-to-back -back first would be real good. I like the money. <laughs> I'm really excited for tonight. You know, the horses, they're diamond cross, so they're really nice. Um, my form's been really solid here lately, so I'm really excited to see how I pair up against some tougher horses. It's anybody's game, you know. All these girls have a super equal chance of getting it, so, I mean, it is what it is. If I win it, sweet. If I don't, then I'm gonna congratulate whoever does. I think the girls are fired up. They, they're not sure about these horses, so they don't really know what to expect since we have, you know, some new horses in the pen. So I think some of them are a little anxious, but they're really fighting for the buckle tonight. They're all not only climbing up in the ranks and the standings, but there's a buckle on the line. So they're really psyched.